Uh, today's presentation is going to be talking about uh, the Oracle OCA OCP certification path. And we have five topics that we plan to cover in this hour. The first one is going to be understanding the certification path. So we'll just do a little review for those of you who are not familiar with what the paths are and how you get there and so on. The second one will be to describe the certification exams themselves so you know what you're up against when you go into those exams. Uh, and then a third will be once you know what the exam is, how do you prepare and how do you pass the certification exams? That's the key. And that's what this is all about. How do you pass the certification exams so you can get your certification? And then uh, uh, at the tail end of the presentation, we will actually review a sample certification lesson. So you'll get a, or at least a piece of a lesson. So you'll get a feel for where we're going to go when we teach a certification course, what you can expect to see in the course, and so on. And at the very end, number five, we're going to take and review a sample certification mini exam. This is all anonymous, of course, but we're going to put up a little mini exam with just a, a three or four questions. And it would be typical questions that you would get on a certification exam. We'll take a poll, and we'll get general numbers and see what percent of the people get it right and what percent of it get it wrong. So that's where we're going. And let's start in right away with number one, understanding the certification pass. Oracle, first of all, has dozens of certifications. We are focusing on the OCA, OCP path, which is the main certification path. There are plenty of other certifications for specialties in PL SQL and data warehousing and other things. But the main entry into certification is the OCA, OCP path. Uh, that stands for Oracle Certified Associate and Oracle Certified Professional. In order to get these, you're going to have to pass two exams for the OCA and a third exam for the OCP. The exams are administered for Oracle by Pearson View. Here's their website, www.pearsonview.com slash Oracle. And I'll just click on that for a minute to show you what that's going to look like. And when you get to that website, you will see you can locate test centers, schedule tests, reschedule a test if you have to, and so on. Look at your account, see what tests you've taken, what you've passed, and so on. So there's a, a lot of information there. That's when you're ready to schedule a actual test and pay your money for it, and you're all prepared and go and take it. That's the goal. OK, well, first is the OCA, Oracle Certified Associate. It requires you to pass two exams. You need two exams here. The first one is the Oracle Database 11G SQL Fundamentals 1. And the number for that is 1Z0051. You really don't have to take this particular exam. There are various older exams that you might have already taken. And I will review that in a couple of minutes. And if you've already taken and passed one of those prior exams, which in essence tests your SQL capability, then you don't have to take the uh, 1Z0051. What you do need to take is the Oracle Database 11G Administration 1, which is 1Z0052. That one you must take. There are no other alternate exams you can take for that. Once you take and bo pass both of these exams, then you will get your Database 11G Administrator Certified Associate, otherwise known as Oracle Certified Associate. That's OCA. Now let's take the next step. After you get your OCA, which you must do first, then you go for your OCP if that's where you want to go. The first thing you need for your OCA, OCP is your OCA. You can't, go, you can't get it without an OCA. So you have to pass those other first two exams and get your OCA. Then you have one more exam to take, which is the Administration 2, 1Z0053 exam, which is basically more complex concepts and so on are tested there on basically database administration. So we now have three tests that we had to take. We can help you get ready and prepare for and, and all of those three tests. And in this hour, I'm going to tell you not just how we can help you, but how you can help yourself, what books you should go after, what things you need to do to get fully prepared for that. So, But we can help you with those too, and we'll show you a little bit of what we have for that. There is one additional capability, one additional thing, and that is for the OCP only, not the OCA, 
But for the OCP only, unfortunately, you must take one official Oracle University course. They're quite expensive. The typical five-day course is $3,000. Now, you only need one Oracle University course, and there are a lot of choices here. So if you've already taken one, you're okay. You've paid for that. You don't have to take one of their courses again. You can either study on your own, self-study. You can do web-based training. You can take a course with, skill, with us skill builders. Whatever you decide to do, you don't have to take that if you've already taken and paid for one of their courses. But uh, if you haven't taken any of their courses, then there would be no point in taking ours or anybody else's. You need to take one of the Oracle University certified courses because you've got to spend that money anyway. Okay? And once you've done that, you now have your OCP. So for LCA, no problem. You don't need to do spend any money with Oracle other than the, uh, the fee for the uh, actual exam, which we'll get to in a short while. But for the OCP, you need to take that one course. Okay. Here is a website that has all of the Oracle certification details. So let me just click on that and go there briefly to show you what it, what, what's here. And this is a summary of what we've just talked about. For your OCA, the typical test is this 1Z0051. However, there are three other exams, and if you've taken any of those, notice the first one is a retired exam, but the other two are still active exams, and they're older ones that you may have taken when you were studying Oracle 9i, or a relatively new one when you were studying Oracle 10. If you've taken any of those, you do not have to take the 051. If you haven't, then you need the 051. You must have the 052, that's a requirement, and after you pass both of those, you're an OCA. You've got the certification. Now let's take a step down and look at the OCP, prior OCA certification is required. You must take that one expensive uh, Oracle course that uh, is either instructor letter or in, uh, or in class course. So you need to take one of those courses and then you have to take and pass the uh, 1Z0053 which is the admin to course. Fill out a form and you've got your OCP. And there are plenty of other certifications. You can go beyond that to an Oracle Certified Master and so on. Um, the Oracle Certified Master uh, is, uh, is a much more intensive uh, a training, much more intensive exams. Those are in-person exams. You actually have to solve problems. Uh, uh, and it's a whole different world for OCM. And there are some OCMs out there, and maybe you want to consider doing that, but you certainly need a lot of experience in the field before you're going to take that. Okay, and there are plenty of other exams as well, but that's, that's basically what I wanted to show you here. So that's your, uh, that's your OCP, Oracle Certified Program, to get you through those exams. Okay, let's describe the certification exams themselves. Step two, we just understood the certification path. Now step two is let's look at the actual certification exams. SQL Fundamentals 051, 70 multiple choice questions. Fortunately, all three of these exams are multiple choice questions. All right, so it's it, it's not it's not writing code or anything. You get into that when you're in in the Oracle Certified Master, but not in the OCA OCP. 120 minutes to answer 70 multiple choice questions. The passing grade is only 60 percent. It is a non-proctored exam, so you could take it at an exam site, or you could take it from your home computer anywhere you want to do. It's a non-proctored exam. The fee is the lowest fee they have for any of these three exams. It's $125 for the fee. And Oracle, you'll see this on a couple of slides, Oracle tells you these are all subject to change at any time. However, it's been the same for a few years, so it hasn't changed recently. 